Hey y'all, it's Ashley and I'm super excited to share this DIY stash kit with you all. So I thought it'd be super fun to create a, a quick kit for this album that I put together. Here's a flip through of um, just a recent kind of uh, six by eight album that has different sizes in there, but the main, the main core size or base size is six by eight. And then I threw in some pocket page protectors um, of different sizes and then I also threw in some like half sizes like so maybe more like three by eight. So I am starting by looking through some of my embellishments and some of the first ones that I went through that you guys saw me pick out were actually my DIY embellishments from my previous video and then now I'm just looking through these um, kind of t I have these tubs that are I think are meant to be photo cases that I keep some of my embellishments in and so I'm looking through those to see if there's anything I can find that might go along with either the home theme or like maybe kind of the color scheme that I'm going for. I don't really have like, you know, a set of three or four colors. I'm just trying to kind of find some fun, bright colors that might um, kind of accent the album. I am mostly looking through ephemera right now. And then I do have like some pieces of cork and stuff that are mixed in. And so I'm going to pull some of those as well. Um, and I also have some acetate pieces and things like that from, I think it was from maybe some Allie Edwards kits and possibly even some um, Studio Calico kits. I'm also looking through my labels because those are a staple. So anytime I create a page, not anytime, but a lot of times I create a page, I use some sort of label, whether it's like a Project Life spread or a Traveler's Notebook spread. Um, so I'm always pulling those and so I wanted to grab a few that I might be able to just use quickly like maybe some pinks and mints or an aqua to kind of accent those colors that I'm kind of going for and then of course I love anything craft so and I do have some um, pages like some base pages of craft in my album as well and then I'm looking through some of these um, plastic I'm trying to think of the material, and it's like totally in my mind just blanking, but um, those are from Allie Edwards, and I pulled the one that said love, so I thought that would be a nice addition for my album, and now I'm looking through my alpha stickers. Those are more of kind of like, um, not like the mini alpha stickers, but kind of in between, and then um, I have these like regular stickers that aren't dimensional that I'm going to pull from. And then I also have puffy stickers that I'm going to look through now. And I have these organized by category over to the right side of my desk. Now I'm looking through my chipboard. And what's nice is that Ali Edwards actually came out with a kit a while back called Home. And so I was able to use the stamp set from there to make that cover. And then I also pulled the chipboard stickers from that particular kit. I love tiny text phrases and words, so I decided to pull quite a bit from my stash. And honestly, like looking through all these things really helped me because there's a lot of stuff that I don't, when I'm creating, that I don't, that I forget, I guess, to use. And so um, it kind of, I kind of had this excitement that I wanted to use up a bunch of stuff because I really try not to buy very much stuff just because I have so many. I mean, if you guys saw my craft room, you would know I have a, quite a bit of stuff that I need to use. And so, um, that was kind of fun to, to just look through all the things that I have sitting around that I could use up. I'm also pulling those three stamps, those three stamp sets, and then I would like to use um, these little two by two pocket, or you can use them in your pocket pages, or you could use them um, just as like layering pieces or just like fun additions to your pages. But I do have some two by two pockets in this album, so I thought that'd be fun to use those. And then um, I'm going to pull some tags from this little bin that I have just with some random stuff in it. And a lot of, I have some DIY embellishments in this bin as well. And then um, I also pulled some acetate pieces that are like, that have the, um, they're all different houses. And so I thought that would be fun. And now I'm looking through my cards because, because this album has um, some pockets, I decided to pull some different cards to, um, add in and that way and I can always reach for more but I'm going to try to stick to the kit as much as possible and I think it'll just make my life so much easier um, and this is a great way like if you're on the go or you do a lot of your crafting like on your uh, dining room table or in another room um, the 
this would be a great way just to kind of create a clip kit and really try to just stick to that and take your scissors and your, um, I'm trying to think of your ink and your roller date stamp and your adhesive and then you'll be set. Now I'm looking through my three by four cards and I did find a few that I thought would be perfect and one one thing I really loved about doing this too another thing is that um, I kind of got an idea of what kind of photos I want to take too so instead of like having all these photos and then creating an album I created this album because I want to take more photos at home and I kind of had this idea of like when my daughter and I take a selfie or um, when we're outside you know playing or um, you know, different things like that, or when we're cooking, I thought that'd be fun to like pull things that kind of give me some prompts on what kinds of photos to take. So um, I did pull some cards that would kind of associate with those fun things that we do around the house. So I have everything set. I'm going to just kind of walk you through a little bit slower through what I have. So these are the papers, um, and because I chose those because they are kind of leftovers from creating the album. I have two 4x6 paper pads here from Pseudo Calico that I can use as Project Life cards or just simply like layering pieces. There's another one I'm just going to flip through, and those are just some kind of simple um, polka dot uh, patterns on the back and then I have there's some more like geometric patterns like to the front and then I have some cards and I'm just going to kind of share with you the sides that I'll probably most likely use and so I'm kind of flipping them back and forth and then I have some that are also printables too and it might be hard to tell which ones are and which ones aren't but these are a mixture like Probably some from the Hip Kit Club, lots from Pseudo Calico because I'm a subscriber to the documentary kits. And then I have some, maybe even some Feed Your Craft ones, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I normally keep those separate just so I can create with those um, to create my Feed Your Craft projects. But um, I might have a few items or products in there. Here are my stickers, like that include my Alphas, my chipboard, my puppy stickers. So these are like more of my embellishments that are attached to sheets, I guess, and then along with my tags. Here's some more of my stickers that I'm going to be using and that I'm going to try to use. I would, to, I would love to use up like a full sheet of, not alpha stickers because I know that's like near impossible, but um, maybe a full sheet of uh, gray stickers or something like that. And then some more embellishments of my two little two by two pads. And then I have a few of those um, wood pieces because I don't ever use those and I just really want to tr try hard to use those in this project. And then I have some even little, some rubber pieces and then this is the little home acetate um, pieces that I was talking about that came from the Ali Edwards home kit. And then I have my three stamp sets. And then that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you guys soon. Bye.